For question number 11, we have x plus 2y is equal to 11, and we also have x minus 2y is equal to negative 5. We have two equations with two unknowns, x and y. So in order for us to proceed, I have to get rid of one variable first. But this question is pretty convenient, because I see that we have positive 2y right here and a negative 2y right here. If I just add these two equations at first, okay, combine these two together, I see I will just get x squared plus x, but then the very best thing is that the positive 2y and the negative 2y will cancel each other out. So let's do that. This way, I don't need to worry about the, uh, the y at all. So I will have x squared plus x on the left-hand side. That equals to 11 minus 5, which is 6. See? No more y's. I just have x squared plus x is equal to 6. It's a quadratic equation. Let's move the 6 to the other side. Minus 6 right here and minus 6 right here as well. So we will get x squared plus x minus 6 equals to 0. And we can factor this out. Two parentheses equals to 0. To get x squared, let's have x and x. And I want to get negative 6. But I want to, when I add these two numbers together, I want to produce a positive 1. So let's try, well, let's have positive 3 and minus 2. Works. Okay? That's a correct combination. From the first parentheses, x plus 3 is equal to 0. The second parentheses, x minus 2 will equal to 0. So for the first one, after I minus 3 on both sides, we have x equals to negative 3. For the second one, plus 2 on both sides, we will get x is equal to 2. Okay? However, we are not done yet. This is a system of equations. Once we get the x, we also have to get the y. Okay? And I will just make a note um, right here. This equation, we see we have the x, we have two numbers for x, right? Two values for x. And we have, we are going to have two solutions in this case. Sometimes you may have uh, no solutions, two solutions, one solution, or maybe four solutions, infinitely many solutions. But in this case, we are going to have two. And in this situation, it doesn't matter which equation, which original equation you plug it back. It seems like the first one it has a square. Let's not touch that. Let me use the second one. Doesn't really matter. I'll just say use. The second one, x minus 2y is equal to negative 5. Perhaps you argue with me that we have negative numbers, but it doesn't really matter. Anyways, x is equal to negative 3. So the first one, when x is equal to negative 3, plugging negative 3 into x. So I have negative 3 minus 2y is equal to negative 5. That's the equation that I solve to solve for y. So we can uh, add 3 on both sides. Cancel this out. I get wrong color. So cancel that out. I get negative 2y equals to negative 5 plus 3, which is negative 2. And divide both sides by negative 2. I get y is equal to positive 1. So the first solution is when x is negative 3 and y is equal to 1. So I'll just write down the answers right here. And we'll just write this down as an order pair. When x is negative 3 and y will be positive 1. My first answer. And now, we also have to do it with when x is equal to 2. I'll plug in 2. Into that x, I will get 2 minus 2y is equal to negative 5. And I will just subtract 2 on both sides. Cancel this out. I will have negative 2y. By the way, do not do 2 minus 2, right? Because the 2 is with the y. They are different terms. That's why I just subtract 2 on both sides. So negative 2y is equal to negative 5 minus 2, which is 
negative 7. And here we are just going to divide both sides by negative 2. And so this out, and we will get y is equal to negative 7 divided by negative 2 is positive 7 over 2. So the second answer will be when x is equal to 2. y will be 7 and a half. 7 and a half. Okay. x is equal to 2, and y is 7 and a half. 7 and a half. Like this.